I was thinking about how people walk their Christian life. And I think a lot of people who have all these ideas about self-perfectionism are practicing what I call crash and burn Christianity. <clears throat> you see, the problem here is although we have the Holy Spirit, we think that we now can reach perfection. That's not the case. The Holy Spirit breaks our sinful habits. That's to be sure. But the big thing that the Holy Spirit does in walking in the Spirit is it removes the law. See, the Holy Spirit is not there to convict you of sins. You're already convicted of sins under the law. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit that released you from the fear of sin. Take a look at the holy mountain that the Jews couldn't even go near, and Moses standing in between them and the holy mountain, speaking to God for them. And Moses talking about a prophet to come that's just like that, Jesus Christ. So the spirit of fear of the law is not the spirit of Christ. So when you're walking by the spirit, you're walking by being protected from the law by Christ. So when Christ is protecting you from the law, now you can ascend that holy mountain. Now you can reach holiness perfectly. You're not going to be perfectly sinless. But the more you realize that you're walking in grace and not under the law, the more you're going to become more holy yourself. But these people, when you're in a Christianity that's telling you that you're imperfection, needs to be perfect in order to be pleasing to God. What are you going to do? Well, since God is holy, I've got to hate sin within me. So now I have to be as holy as God. And yes, be ye perfect like I am perfect. But you have to realize that you're not perfect. But you obsess over making yourself perfect. You can't forgive yourself even though Christ forgave you. And then you, you, you impose that perfectionism, that whiff of perfectionism on other people. I can't stand my own sin. I can't stand... Look, there was a thorn in, in Paul's flesh. may have been his eyes. But he prayed three times. And what did God say? My grace is sufficient to you. When Jesus was talking to the Pharisees, talking about the Pharisees and talking about these self-righteous people, he says, you strain out a gnat when there's an elephant in the room. You see, you can't walk your Christian life trying to become as holy as God because every time you do, you're going to crash and burn because your eyes come off of the Savior that loves you just the way you are. It's called unconditional love. And when you walk in that unconditional love, the sins that you're fighting against, you, you know, you're beating your body for. By the way, beating your body does not help you get sin off to you that does not help you stop sinning. Because the minute you try to beat it off, you've got another sin behind you. Uh, pride. You, every time you try to attack a sin, the only thing that you're doing is you're just masking it or trying to act humble. You see people try to act humble. I'm humble. You see them all of a sudden, they blow up and go, oh, I, I, I tried and, and I just, I had that sin killed because I was trying to mortify the flesh. Well, that statement, kill the flesh, mortify the flesh, means by the Spirit. <laughs> Remember to take the snippets. By the Spirit. What's the Spirit? Trusting in Christ. Walking in Him. The more you walk in Him, the less you'll sin. If you walk by the Spirit, knowing that God loves you, and accept His... You're, you're, you're going to understand a Christianity that looks to Jesus and goes, Thank you. That's called repenting. And so what happens is you become calm in your walk. And then you add these things. Then you start to try to, to uh, you know, if you need to fix yourself, you add these things. You know, to, to this, you add that. To, you know, basically it's about making, uh, it is about perfecting yourself. But not in this, oh, I, I have to keep on looking at myself. Because when you're looking at yourself, you're walking in the flesh. Look to Jesus and relax in your Christian walk. You'll sin less. You're like Humpty Dumpty. Right? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. So here you are, this broken egg, right? And the only way that you can fix that egg is to look to Jesus. The more you look to Jesus, the more the egg gets repaired. The more you try to put the pieces back together, the more you look like a cracked egg. 
I hope this helps. Thanks. God bless.